Well, my name is Tala, and I'm here with True ID, and we're here to demonstrate our project, which is to help authenticate and keep passwords and other credentials secure. Um, what we have here is a device that'll keep your passwords, and it'll generate those passwords. And you can use those passwords to log into Facebook, Amazon, eBay, Google, anything. So you have to have a pin, your fingerprint, and the device. And using those three aspects, once they've all been verified, you can log into any website using our Google Chrome application. So we have here is our application that'll do scanning for fingerprints. And as you can see here, it actually does a live stream of it. So if I place my index finger, it'll pull up index. If I place my middle finger, it'll pull up middle. All the passwords and everything are stored locally on this device. There's no cloud service, nothing like that. So it's extremely hard for outside attackers to get in. Um, these passwords are generated, encrypted, and random. So it's extremely hard to get a hold of these passwords. And our device makes it user friendly and easy for anybody to access their website. If you want to log in Facebook, you just press a button, scan your fingerprint, and you're in. We are the copper filtration team, and what the goal is to, what we wanted to do is eliminate the amount of copper particulate used in Encore Wire's current filtration process. So what we've established to do is to reach that current filtration rate and also eliminate the paper filter. So what we have is our dirty reservoir tank, which is 28 gallons of clean water originally, and 24 fluid ounces of copper. We're dealing with copper on a scale of one micron, that's bacterial size. As soon as we hit the, this flow valve, liquid is able to come up into the module. Inside of this is the actual filter. It sits like this, the liquid is able to pass through because it's completely sealed and submerged in the dirty liquid. This water, you're not able to be, you're not going to be able to see it. You can see it in the drawing. It comes through filtered down and into the clean reservoir. Clean reservoir is where we took samples and we were able to measure if we achieved these goals. So what we, we also had here is ability to gather the copper that was settled in the bottom of the tank. And that would be able to be recycled and reused in their filtration system and again be used to create more copper wire. So that's it. Basically our project is a solar thermal power generation um, using these evacuated tubes. And inside these evacuated tubes is a beryllic glass with a copper coating on the inside. Um, and in there we filled it with cooking oil, which would get to about 380 degrees. We put that in here. You can see our pump right here. And going out of the pump through this little needle valve, we ran four of these into a series, which created our boiler. We modeled this system after the Rankin cycle. It has a boiler, a turbine, condenser, and pump. So now that we've gone through the boiler, we move over to the turbine. Leaving the boiler, we were getting about 215 degrees Fahrenheit coming through here, um, and about two and a half to three PSI running at steady state. That would enter into this turbine and spin this. As it exited the turbine, it ran into a condenser. It runs right through there in the back, and then it would leave the condenser, complete the cycle back into the pump. We achieved about 55% efficiency and 14 watts.